I don't know if people appreciate what things produce. In my whole life, the only advantage that I've ever had as a person, I've never been the most talented, never been the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, even though I was a four sport athlete my whole life, you know, at the top of every sport that I've ever played, I was never the most talented. I was never the fastest guy, never the strongest guy. I've always been a small guy my whole life. You know, I was that guy I would show up and they knew that I was the guy that played football. They knew behind the jersey I was probably number three or number 29 in college. But when I would show up on the scene, I would always get the reaction, this is the guy because I was small. I didn't even look the part. But the only thing I've always had, my only advantage was I wasn't afraid of hard work. But most importantly, I knew what I represented. And so by knowing what I represented, my commitment, my dedication, and my, my perfection to my craft and what I represented, it was always on another level. And so now when guys did 10 sprints, I did 30. Because I knew I was working for something greater than myself and what I represented was always greater than myself. And for example, two weeks ago, I was with a kid downtown Atlanta. So it was this 15-year-old kid. He had been acting up in school, giving his mom problems. He hadn't seen his father since he was born, basically. And I take him downtown Atlanta and I take him right under a bridge. And so now you got Turner Field, you got where the Falcons play, where the Hawks play, you got the world of Coca-Cola, you got a jail, you got these successful companies, you got people going to work, you know, got the briefcases, doing their thing, you got life happening. And then you got under a bridge, you got a gentleman, a grown man, sound asleep, cardboard box, sleep as if a person would be in a bed, sleep. And I looked at the kid and I said, do you think he planned to be there? I said, do you think when he got of age at a certain point in his life, do you think he said, man, you know, one day I'll probably be sleeping under a bridge on a cardboard box? The kid said, no. I said, what do you think happened? The kid said, I don't know. What do you think happened? Eh? He said, I think life happened. He said, what do you mean life? I said, I think at a certain point in his life, he was excited. He was Jack. He enjoyed something. He was a part of something special, something had a legacy attached to it, whether it was his family, whether it was a dream, a goal, an aspiration. I think at a certain point, every day he got up, something he represented, he got excited about it, he was driven, he was committed, he was dedicated about it, he was stoked about it, he was jacked about it. But I think at a certain point, life made him forget what he represented. And life stole his joy, his peace, his happiness. Life zipped him of that drive, life took that dedication, that commitment so much so to the guy that was once driven, to the guy that was once happy and excited about what he was a part of and what he represented and the legacy that was attached to it that same guy ended up sleeping under a bridge the only advantage I've ever had everything I encountered and everything I ever hit in my life I understood what I represented and life will never take that away from me there was times when I went to practice I hadn't even eaten and guys would be out there complaining and the only thing I was working on was my work ethic and my drive and my dream and my goal to get to where I was trying to get to and I knew if I would have stopped in that moment I would never get to where I was trying to get to I would really miss bills and I'm working toward this dream and this goal and I finally get to the point I can smell it I can taste it I can see it and I'm a part of something right and we go and we work every single day we show up five o'clock in the morning we're working towards something we got an element of collective character we got an element of responsibility accountability we got an element man when I tell you I got your back I got your back when I tell you I care about you I care about you when I tell you I love you I love you I was a part of something. And I get to the point to where I'm a projected first round draft pick, and I go out and I make a tackle, and this is the thing that people don't even know. People know my life changed behind the game of football, but people don't understand the play and how it happened. People don't know that wasn't even my guy. But as I'm running and checking my guy, I see my teammate getting beat. My guy who I told in the tunnel, hey man, if you get beat, I got your back. And I said, man, I gotta go, I gotta have his back. And I go up and I roll up and I go to hit this guy to end the game. This tackle probably would have ended the game if I'd have hit him and caught him. I hit him and as soon as I hit him, it seemed as if every breath in my body left. I lost control of my body. Never happened to me before. And I'm not just bringing it in one aspect of life. I'm bringing it in every single aspect of life. I'm not gonna be one of these people in the world that's a public success, but they're a private failure. I mean, they give everything they got to one aspect of life, but the other areas, they lack off. No, I'm gonna give every single thing I got to every aspect of my life because I represent something. When people see me, they think something. Whether that's character, never giving up, never surrendering. And the thing that we can never do is forget what we represent because that's how guys end up on the bridge on a cardboard box sleep.